There's a young man. I talked to him. I wish I was with you. That's really weird, Lisa. Uh. I'm the greatest God created. Power tripping on the mission. Taffy says it's a waste of time to try and fix a boy. It's better just accept a guy's flaws. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I can't do that. Not until we bury the body. There is no turning back now. I can't be saved. And in the next life, they'll remember me. Remember me. Really hope this goth phase ends soon. Why does the zebra look the way it does? <laughs> so embarrassing. Hey, focus. Is this how it went? No, it's different now. Oh, you've been on my mind recently. Yeah. Because you keep popping up in my dreams. You don't do anything, you're just there. So, this specific person, the remarkable nobody, I don't still have that experience. Do you have a picture? Have you been dreaming about me? Have I been dreaming about you? Yeah. There's like a hundred messages. Somebody wants to interview me. This is strange. Maybe you should take a minute and think before you do anything drastic. Why me? Uh, I don't know. I'm special, I guess. How does it feel to go viral? Who's actually had a dream about me? Getting me put, I'm going to have nightmares. I wish I was the one people were dreaming about. Me too. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's something. How's he dealing with all this? We're not even the type of people that like attention, you know? Do you think other people are seeing you naked? Maybe thousands. Hey. I hope I'm behaving through your dreams. Oh no, you're not. So I'm finally cool, huh? I didn't say that. You hear that, Janet? She's saying I'm a cool dad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like you're playing with fire here. Dad, please help me! I'm not actually doing anything to them. You know, fame can come with some less desirable side effects. You should be prepared for that. Maybe we should cool this thing off. What? What do you mean? It's embarrassing. Which part? I guess I'll, uh... I guess I'll see you in my dreams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so of course not. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh! Gotcha! So you're the funny little man who's been following me. Funny little man. How dare you? I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. An Oompa what now? In fact, in Loompa Land, I am regarded as something of a whopper. They call me Lofty. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you all. My name is Willy Wonka. You see, I'm something of a magician. Prepare to be amazed. Tape up. <laughs> Inventor. May I present Willy Wonka's wild and wonderful wishy-washy Wonka Walker? Please don't make me say that again. And chocolate baker. The best chocolate in the world. Ooh. He's good. Too good. And anyone can afford them. Even the... The poor? What? <laughs>
He doesn't like it when people say poor. Send Wonka a message. Do not sell chocolate in this town! You're gonna get more than a bonk on the head. I love a bonk on the head. What is with me today? You should stand up to those bullets. Give them the old one, two. I got an idea. Where do we start? Making chocolate, of course. Every good thing in this world started with a dream. So you hold on to yours. I guess it's time to change the world. I'm not in premium economy. Good night, sir. I am going flat. Huh. What is it? Nothing. Well, it's obviously something because you said, huh. Forget it. Very well. Huh. Oh, you did it again. Tell me what it is or I shall poke you quite viciously with a cocktail stick. Pressure's all right, Gary. It's perfect. Is there any area in particular you want me to focus on today? Um, Gary, how many guys have you done this with? You're the first guy that I've ever been intimate with. I had a wife. She left. I really don't know what to say. I mean, words of affirmation is not my love language. It's more like... I've been alive for nearly half a century and I haven't actually lived even a second of it. Gary, I'm gonna help you. Let's find someone for you. Oh my God, there's so many hot guys. I think that this might just be too much. Oh, too late, he's already on his way. Wait, what? Hello. What's up, bro? Just wanna get in and get out. Oh, you can get in all right. It's a gorgeous landing. What are you doing? Oh, I'm calling 911. Gary, no accidents happened. It was your first night being gay. Did you really think you weren't going to make any mistakes? Fuck, he bled through the tarp. That's Mountain Ashwood. It's really porous. Oh my God, you're so gay. Oh, are you a cop? No. Wait, are you? No. Good, because the dark web's built on trust. Come on! Is this what it's like? This is what it's like. I am like human paupers. I open anyone up. I'm really glad I met you. Even if multiple people are dead because of it. Dripping in diamonds, a thousand eyes. Watching in silence as we get high. Church girls know how to kneel. Cha-cha-cha. Just give it to me. Where are you going? I am a cool, hot zaddy. Where'd you kill him? Oh, we oh, right him. outside. You moved the body? Uh, we just in the closet. You guys ever seen Gone Girl? Just, just apart with Ben Affleck's dick. Gary. Well, hello, baby girl. How are you today? So good. It's Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah, that. Your child loves Christmas. Just have fun. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Dad, is that nice? Sound like wounded ducks. Now, what was that? Do you mind telling me what you're doing in my chimney? Can you see me? What's your name? My name is Nicholas Santa Claus. What is this? Oh, the carrots. The missus said I need to eat healthier, so she thinks this will wing me off the cookies. <laughs> Hasn't worked so far. <laughs> if you're really Santa, tell me what Charlotte wants for Christmas. She wants a pretend makeup kit and a scooter. He's right, see, Dad? I've never met an eight-year-old girl that did not want a pretend makeup set. It looks like a uh, snowman and uh, an elf and a nutcracker, a.k.a. every Tuesday at my house. <laughs> Got a dash. Yeah. Oh, no! What is going on? Those bad guys are after my naughty and nice list, but I got some associates here. Eddie's a nun, believe Really? Oh, claustrophobic. I'm sorry, what? Claustrophobic, fear of Santa Claus. That's ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. You don't believe, but I have to deliver Christmas gifts tonight. Dad, we need to help him. Where are you guys? We're at Santa Claus, and he sweats glitter, and there's these people, and they aren't actually elves. 
Bring my child home. Why don't you have a white beard? I doubt it. If I want to look younger, I deserve that. How can these two outfox us? Oh, outrun us? Yeah. All I want to do is have you start believing again. <laughs> what you about to witness is a sleigh being pulled by eight beautiful reindeer. It's Miss Pear, the Bluetooth. Who do you work for? Some people think I work for Mother Nature or Father Time. Recently, everybody thinks I work for Beyonce. But now, every married man will understand this. I work for Mrs. Claus. It's everything on my list, baby. Do you know that feeling when you're doing exactly what you were put on the earth to do? The one where it's like everything inside you is moving together in harmony with the universe. No! Me neither. But, you know, one can hope, right? Wave to mommy, because she'll hate me even more than she already does if you don't. I seem to recall you saying that becoming a lawyer would only crush your soul. Yeah, it has. I'm running a business, and right now that business is getting a journalist and an Adipaldonia. No. It's a one-off. No, no, and no. Who's a journalist? I have resigned my position here. I'm not interested. 20 grand says you are. Welcome to Bologna. President Venegas, so nice to meet you. We must take a selfie. Um. You approve? Ah, it's great. Vamos! Ow! What the hell just happened? Your one man's security detail happened. He's a hero. I'm with the president of a country in the middle of a coup. This is the scoop of a lifetime. You gotta be alive to have a scoop for a lifetime. <gasps> we never should have come. Let's go. You can't just leave him. Run! Run! <laughs> Ready to go, I don't know how to stop. When you start at the bottom, only way to go is up. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Did you help? <laughs> Again, then I got to win. I get up again, then I got to win. What? You're still excited to cover a coup? Less and less, honestly. Where is Venegas? Here is Venegas! Two for Pandora! Hey, not the time for coaching, man! Oh, oh my god. Oh, color me impressed, Mr. Petit. Not Petit at all. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, how y'all doing? For all of y'all that don't know who I am, my name is Willie Gary. Willie Gary. Willie Gary. William Gary. Never heard of him. What's so special about this guy, anyway? Litigation is war. It's a battle. Bam! And I'm not talking about no bullshit either. I'm talking about some John Card Van Dam ass kicking shit. The truth is, I may have gotten myself into a lot of trouble. I've been your lawyer 30 years. We can find a way out of it. You've never sued anybody before in your whole life. This fella tried to bully me out of business, and I don't think I should be expected to stand for it. Mr. Gary hasn't lost a case in over 12 years. You suggesting I hire this guy as one of my lawyers? Y'all come on in. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Gary. Let me introduce you to my call, Red. How do you feel about working with black folk? I suppose I am a little prejudiced. Mm. Did you meet my team? I'm Chris. Deshaun. Reggie Douglas. Gentlemen, he's suing us. He's suing us. We are a half a billion dollar corporation. So how much money y'all trying to get? Eight million. That ain't enough money. One hundred million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this clown he's hired as a lawyer? Go fight him, man. What made you want to do it? Because he tried to mess with the one thing that means the most to me in life, being able to leave something behind for my grandchildren. Let's play some music. Sun is shining, sky is blue. My name is Mame Downs. Graduated top of her class from Harvard Law School. Uh -huh. They had a nickname for her around the office. The Python. I wouldn't get too used to me being kind to you, Mr. Gary. Once we begin that trial, I will destroy you. Well, can't you see that we're golden? We don't have a snowball's chance in hell of winning this case. Just, just trust me, okay? I, I, I may have found something. 
What does it feel like to be some small time nobody on the verge of bankruptcy? What if I don't win and I let all these people down? You have been trying to turn this into your own one ring circus. I got my damn life on the line. I know that, Jerry. Did it ever bother you? Oh, the hypocrisy, the hypocrisy. You sit your ass down. I'm Jerry, your honor. Hey, 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 wait, wait. What's the matter? can't split the pole. Can't split the pole, man. Come on, man. Doc. gonna make boy band history tonight. Bro, you're making Baby Branch nervous. I feel like I'm gonna barf and pass out and... Pee your pants all at once? How'd you know? Give it up for Rosa! My exquisitely chiseled rock-hard abs and I quit. Branch, we're out of sync. We've gone from boys to men, and now there's only one direction for us to go. The back streets. Bye. See you later. Branch. What? Oh, hey. Are you all right? You're smiling and crying at the same time. It kind of looks like it's hurting your face. It does hurt my face. Oh, baby, Branch. I'm John Dory. Branch's brother. What? Ow! <laughs> Former brother. Rubber, call me, Dinkle. It's hard to say I'm sorry. A brother is a friend who can never leave you. It's the strongest bond in the world. I would kill to have a sibling to sing with. Check out your old outfits. Puffy jacket? Puka shell necklaces? Denim tuxedo? Did you have frosted tips? Ah! Look at you, you were so cute. I love it. It was ah! an era. Tragic. Branch, our brother is being held captive in a diamond prison. And there's only one thing that's powerful enough to shatter diamonds. The perfect family harmony. Should we be letting a baby drive? I have procured my learner's permit. Who is a Dulcy McMahon face? The better question is, are you a narc? Who goes there? We're here looking for our brother. Oh my gosh, hello! My name is Viva! It is so fantastic, amazing to see other trolls! Did you just braid my hair? You're welcome, it looks so good. I love it! Is your dad King Peppy? Uh, yeah? Poppy, I'm your sister! My what? Whoa. Hey man, am I the only one without a long lost sibling? This is your second chance with your brothers, Branch! Bitty B, maybe a smaller diaper. If this diaper was any smaller, I could taste it. I know you think it's risky, and maybe it is, but it'll be worth it. Family's always worth it. You're all I ever wanted. I can't believe this is really happening. You're all I ever needed. Yeah. So tell me what to do. We still got it. Looks like your band-aids aren't behind you. Let's just tell everyone we're together. What? This could be kind of fun. There's no way we can convince anyone we actually like each other. La, 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 la. Trust me. We're at a wedding a million miles away from home. Who knows what could happen? Shoot me. Convincing enough? I hate the way that I love you. Dear Edith, you foxy ass old whore. Carry on. You really are a tricksy old fucker. And you're a sad, stinky bitch. In the end, I think it's just jealousy. I think we know who it is. Love thy neighbour, and I tried, but... I'll get you in the ball, sir! She's heinous. Edith, I didn't do it. I believe we may be charging an innocent... A woman police officer? Oh, look, 
flying pig. <laughs> I've got a daughter at home. Why would I risk it all? You want fucking in the nose holes, you old beetle. Beetle? Right. <laughs> if you meddle in my case, these will be on your wrists. In prison, Rose may find some kindred spirits. In prison? No, no, not the murderers or the rapists. I'm thinking more the drunks and the queers, maybe. Just trying to find a bright side. Oi! You daft old fucking slippery old fucking dodger. Why would I send a letter when I can just say it? I'd probably say that you look like fucking Queen Victoria shoved a fucking nettle up her fucking pussy. I don't know. You stink of cum and shit and the cakes you make look like they've fallen out some fucking shit, fucking arsehole. Better. <laughs> Who's there? I have a plan. You're a fool of hesitation. Will you catch them in the act? <laughs> what would your husband think? My husband isn't a live race, so he's not thinking a great deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like you, Rose. I hate her! <laughs> you don't like the idea of me leaving this house, do you? <laughs> I'm going to lose her. We're not standing for it. I've had one now. Everyone is going to know. It's German. Look at this place, Anemone. The sun is shining. Everybody's out there having fun. Makes you want to get out there and join them, doesn't it? Well, I'll see you. Now, do not forget, you are the help. They are the guests. Your spritzer has arrived. Finally. You gotta get out of your shell, buddy. Come on, Armin. I'm not like these other crabs, all right? I don't throw my claws in the air. Oh, yeah. I don't wave them like I just don't care. What's up, Wakey, Armin? wakey. This is for your own good, Armin. But wait. Oh, yeah. oh. Ask you today. What? You got moved, girl. What did you say to me? What, uh, uh, no, 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 that wasn't me. That was, uh, him. Him who? Me, me, me. Oh, he's so cute. <gasps> hey, look out! <laughs> Armin, where are you? <gasps> Armin? How far are we from the ocean? In, in crab lakes? I don't know, maybe a million? This may be the furthest away from my mother I've ever been. Woo-hoo! It feels amazing! Girl, have you lost your mind? Oh, this my jam! <laughs> How you like me now? Oh, yeah. How you doing? You know, lost and afraid for my life. Other than that, can't complain. Come on! Open your eyes! I liked it better when they were shut. Ooh. What are you doing, kid? Oh, whoa! Oh, What do you think they'll think of us? Oh, snap! Are you finished yet, sea crib? Because you're standing in our drinking water. They spent, what, a trillion dollars trying to get one dude back from Mars? You get the opportunity to bring back Matt Damon. I just don't think we should wait around to be saved, you know? You really don't think they're sending anybody to save us? I mean... In case you haven't noticed, we're doomed to spend the rest of our miserable lives on this ship. Maybe we should do it. Do what? It. <laughs> we're not attracted now, but we would emotionally attach. You mean fall in love. What if this awesome thing we have going on gets ruined? People are meant to be together. Oh, sorry. Is this, is this on? Okay. <clears throat> Lame. I want the sun. We're both married. I'm sure being adrift in space gives you a hall pass. You know what you want to watch tonight? Alien? Never seen it. Why the hell did we watch that movie? How did you come to write this book? What really struck me was that too few books were about my people. Where are our stories? Where's our representation? Would you give us the pleasure of reading an excerpt? 
Yo, Sharonda, girl, you be pregnant again? If I is, Ray Ray is gonna be a real father this time around. Thank you. Monk, your books are good, but they're not popular. Editors, they want a black book. They have a black book. I'm black, and it's my book. You know what I mean. Look at what they published. Look at what they expect us to write. I just want to rub their noses in it. <laughs> I'd be standing outside in the night. Deadbeat dads, rappers, crack. You said you wanted black stuff. That's black, right? I see what you're doing. We sold their book. No. We believe Mr. Lee has written a bestseller. It's a joke. The most lucrative joke you've ever told. Now, is Stag a pseudonym? Yeah. Mr. Lee can't use his real name. Is this based on your actual life? Yeah, you think some bitch-ass college boy can come up with that shit? No, no. No, I don't. Can I ask what you were in for? Was it murder? Yeah, you said that, not me. They ran 300,000 copies. Your books changed people's lives. They're offering $4 million for the movie rights. Yes! The dumber I behave, the richer I get. This has gone too far. Stag Arley is still on the run for authorities. You haven't done anything. It's not like they can arrest you. Wish I could go back to not selling books. Is it bad to cater to people's tastes? People want to love you, Monk. You should let them love all of you. There's already so much buzz because of the movie deal. Michael B. Jordan is circling. We want to put him on the cover in one of those, um, uh, scarves, I guess you would call them, tied around his head. A do-rag? Do-rag, that's it. Do-rag and a tank top with the muscles showing. Oh, something called the <laughs> fire department. <laughs> We're thinking we can get it out in time for Juneteenth. Is that the Yes, it is. What the hell were you doing? You're three hours late. Dad, you don't understand. The car was busted, so we had to shred. Why your lips red? Were you eating a snow cone? That's a really good guess. What kind of adults were you playing? The police are here, and they're saying that you bought alcohol for minors. Thanks, boys! In Europe, the drinking age is like 10. They could have been European. What made you think they were European? They had a certain je ne sais quoi. I think yeah. one of them was eating pent au chocolat. Guys, everyone thinks we're losers, but that's about to change. I know where the treasure of Foggy Mountain is. From when we were kids? We are looking at 100 mil. 100 million dollars? It'd be like, I mean, I know it's more than this, but at least a million dollars each. Significantly more. What are we waiting for? The two guys that came in earlier. I didn't see nobody cute. The ginger looked like a colonial ghost. Glasses looked like Tim Burton drew him. And then a short one, we probably were the same size bra. They had a treasure map with like an X on it. We gonna steal that map. That is a full on hawk. Hey, buddy. Reverse it! Reverse the rock! Does it not know it can fly? Why did it walk away with an attitude? Everyone is after this treasure. We deserve that. You deserve it? Yeah. yeah. Three white guys whose biggest issue is what? Growing up? It's no, it's, not, I feel like it's more nuanced it's way than that. Oh. You just hit a woman! I apologize for him. I, for one, would never. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god! So I've hit hypocrite. one woman. That's not in the grand. Oh. Yeah. Welcome, new friends. We can all agree this is a scary call and we're waiting for the other shoe to drop. We're in a docu-series and this is episode two. Dude, yes. completely. Yep. Insane night. Guys, why are we tied up? I'd rather die than live without you boys. Holy! Oh, oh, you Guys, look. Dude, that's, that's the treasure door. Open it. I'm gonna be sick to my stomach. Forget the money. It's not worth it. I need your breakfast amount of reindeer. What?
Why are you like this? Thank you so much, baby. Look. Look. Got a lot of spice. Wow. Merry Christmas. Oh, hey. What's Christmas without a little terror? Check that list twice. What was your Christmas wish? I just want it to be the best Christmas ever. Oh, ignore all the fine print. Honestly, it's like you're signing your life away. It's crazy. Hold up, that was your wish? Not like, I don't know, world peace? In hunger? And homelessness? Stop climate change? Save the polar bears? New Drake album? Oh, I love Drake. Point taken. Oh my god! Ooh, look at you, high stuff, looking like a tall drink of water. I'm enchanted. I don't understand why you have to formally invite your parents. You know they're coming. The invite's here. I love that she went with Antique Sage. Is that the more expensive one? Our one and only daughter is getting married. Do not talk to me about money right now. I still think they should have just eloped. Marshall, you think I should give him a plus one? He's your man of honor. If he's single, he'll come stag. Otherwise, he'll bring someone. But what if he brings Marie? Welcome to Tampa. Lizard! Ah! You're getting married! Can you believe it? Surprise! This place is perfect. No, I, I'm too dignified of a man to be on the beach. I specifically wrote plus one, anyone but Marie James. I mean, I just don't understand how someone else can book the bridal suite during someone else's wedding. It's me, I'm the bride. Does it weaken trade No, Marshmallow, he said we can have the better room. Are you? That woman is a disaster. I have to do special brownies for my sister. Just bake as much pot in the batter as possible. Pot. The most important day of our lives, and you were asked to bring anyone, anyone except Marie. <laughs> I can't believe you just stole a trolley. What are you doing with my wedding dress on? Get this party started! You better get a boy, dude. What did you put in those brownies? Baby, somebody need an EpiPen? Ow! We should really respect nature. No, wait, no, 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 to the bride and groom. Raise your glasses to the bride and groom. Y'all should elope. <laughs> that was class. Yeah. Sorry. That was my fault. Are you okay? You just had Zach McLaren's ball in your face. Mm -hmm. What's his GPA? Do you have any books on Battletoads? You know video games are now the leading cause of divorce. Could you actually order me a book on that? Really? No. Sarcasm is frequently an attempt to deflect one's ignorance. So it's being a know-it-all. Oh, wait, you forgot your credit card. Right? Oh. Oh. oh, my God. What's up? The heck get a car. Now he's a concussion and he thinks that I'm his girlfriend. Thank God it's you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alrighty. He is dating a Zoe. What other Zoe? He's either dead or he's dumped me. Honestly, I'm not sure which is worse. Make sure Zach takes it easy. His symptoms could get worse. What do I do? You don't want him getting worse. Pretend to be the other Zoe. You've been dating two or three weeks now, right? Yep. Sunrise peace. This is Zach's cousin, Miles. He's in grad school at MIT. Oh, my God. A match for Zoe. I caused the accident, and now I'm going to flirt with
even am Nita Patient's cousin? We're all gonna go skiing in the mountains this weekend. You wanna go with us? Strip of land, seven letters. Mm. It's Christmas. Nice. Oh, how did you know that? Well done, you two. Should we hit the slopes? Hit we shall. <laughs> Confusing. I'm enjoying getting to know you over again. Go take a swing at life. You and Zach, do you really think that you're a good match? Like we are. <laughs> it's complicated. I need to tell him the truth. You have to go after what you want and be brave. Oh my god, you're just giving me rom com advice now. No, it's so fun. So, what did you do? Did you have fun? What didn't we do? Excuse me? All PG-13. Okay. It's known as the beautiful game, but let's face it, it's a complicated game. Guys, soccer, as you like to call it, is like life. Next season, I think we have a real shot. I'm sorry, uh, Thomas, did nobody tell you? You're... You're fired. Good news is, you got two options. Option one, that's where you're currently at. Or, American Samoa. Are you serious? If you're all alone, when the pretty birds have gone, the else be free. Take a chance on me. We haven't scored one goal in the history of our country trying to have a soccer team. Goal! They scored again. Humiliation. Mark my words. Things are going to change. I got us a new coach. Something to drink? Whiskey, beer, wine? Yep, we got all those. Which one? Whiskey, beer, and wine. It's safe to say you have zero talent or understanding of the game. Something not right about this guy. Well. He is white. Coach, you got the toughest job on the island. All we want is just one goal. One goal. Come on, guys! We've worked too long and hard for this. You've only been here a few days. What the? I can't work with these guys. For them, it's like some sort of game. It is a game, Thomas. That's it, Jaya, leadership. Now we're making some progress. Dear Lord, well, thank you for sending us Mr. Rongan. We've become quite attached to him. It's like finding a little lost white kid at the mall and telling him which way to go. Guys, honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Work is a nightmare, my boss hates me, and I'm this close to exploding. This close. I mean, honestly, it just sounds like you really need to get laid. All right, everyone repeat after me. Fun and female bonding. Fun and female bonding. Female bonding. What brings you and your gang up here? Just cooking at a food festival. This is so fancy. <laughs> Did you book a cabin or a dollhouse? It's what it says. At least we have shutters. The girls took me away for the weekend. Did you ask if I was okay with this? No. Mary, you can't let him speak to you like that. He's really upset. You know, we had plans this weekend. Like what? Sucking his teeny peen and making him stay? Boo! This festival's a pressure cooker. Can you guys just get it together for five minutes? Why don't we try some pranayama breaths, okay? Do you know the only reason we are here is for you? You are so far up your career's ass that you can't let anyone else in. Struggle is normal. It's part of life. You have to show up for the people around you and trust that they've got your back. Every time I fall, I get back.
Yes? Hi, I have some bad news. We lost your mom. What? Sorry, that was terrible phrasing. I meant we don't know where she is. <sighs> oh, I think your sister's here. Annie, it's finally happened. Oh my God, it's okay, it's okay, I'm here. We're orphans, oh my God, you're orphan Annie. Oh She's not God. dead. She ran away. Tough bitch. And yum. Your mom owes me 80 grand. When you have it, you'll get your dog back. Mm -hmm. I don't have any money. You can sell your eggs. I mean, it's not like you're using them. No, there has to be another way. What is the square root of 196? 14. Correct. How many hearts does an octopus have? Three. Correct. What? Saffron. Saturn. Aphrodite. Apollo. Aries. Carbon dioxide. The equal sign. Correct. Oh my god. What? You know this game. This is how you're gonna make the money. I'm taking you to the quiz. Look out. We're not a drive. Racist. Oh. Hi. Come on, it's gonna be fun. I'm not sleeping on the floor. I'm not sleeping on the floor either. I'm sleeping on the chair. I don't want to sleep in a sitting position. Oh my God. Hold up. Gotta catch another fight. I can't play on live TV in front of millions of people. I'll let you get to it, and you gotta get through hair and makeup. I already went through hair and makeup. Well, then you missed the spot. I can't do this. Am I sweating? Yeah. You know what? Put your arms down. You're having a panic attack. Doctors prescribe these. Is that cocaine? <laughs> Oh, stevia. Do you, do you ever use stevia, the sweetener? Yeah, yeah, I've got it in my pocket. Win or lose, we'll do it together. That is definitely broken. I bet you I could pop it back in my cell. No, I can't. Wait, wait. I'm going to throw up. Okay. How can I ever thank you? Maybe I can drink later? Well, I'm married. And gay. Why did you have to say two reasons? <laughs> Sir, I don't understand. That's glaringly apparent. I can't fail this class. Oh, don't sell yourself short, Mr. Coates. I truly believe that you can. Every year at Barton Academy, students, faculty, and staff depart the campus for a two-week winter break. But there are always an unfortunate few who have nowhere to go for the holidays. They're known as the holdovers. Mr. Hunnam. Hello, Mary. I had you got stuck with babysitting duty this year. How'd you manage that? You know, he used to be a student, right? Yeah, that's why he knows how to inflict maximum pain on us. I thought all the Nazis were hiding in Argentina. Stifle it, Tully. You just earned yourself a detention, sir. Being here with you is already one big detention. Son of a bitch, that's another detention. Do you think I want to be babysitting you? No, I was praying your mother would pick up the phone or your father would arrive in a helicopter or a flying saucer. My father's to take you dead. Up. You don't tell a boy that's been left behind at Christmas that nobody wants him? What's wrong with you? There's nobody here, okay? So you stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of yours. Let me sleep in the Now most of the kids dislike you, pretty much hate you. Teachers too. You know that, right? I find the world a bitter and complicated place, and it seems to feel the same way about me. I think you and I have this in common. I don't think I've ever had a real family Christmas like this before. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. History is not simply the study of the past, it is an explanation of the present. See, when you say it that way, and throw in some pornography, it's a lot easier to understand. No matter what you are. I'd like to propose a toast to my two unlikely companions. Are you trying to lift down my shirt? No. <laughs> yes. You're gonna get me fired. This is your Rubicon. Do not cross the Rubicon. The Holdovers. Holy. I will tell you, I've never seen anything like it. Holy. Is the craziest I think I've ever seen. Everything okay? Eleven million dollars. What are you gonna do? Get a Ferrari? What the? Oh, language. The baby's here. Ooh. Yo, what up, everybody? 
Roaring Kitty here. I'm gonna pick a stock and talk about why I think it's interesting, and that stock is GameStop. I love this guy. Retail traders have hooked into GameStop. I think they think it's a good investment. It looks like there's one guy driving all the buying. Who is this schmuck? Dumb money, man. Happy to take it. Wall Street is betting that this company is gonna fail. But if it fails, these hedge fund people make a ton of money. 70,000 people have watched this video. Roy Kitty, I love you! If he's in, I'm in. If he's in, I'm in. GameStop, those shares not stopping. Those stock is only gonna go up. When they hit, I'm gonna buy you a mansion. Let's drink to that. My brother is a nerd. Wall Street must be seeing this, right? You should probably dial in. Holy shit. Do you have a minute? I, uh, um. Babe, how much did we make today? Five million. How much did we lose today? A billion. And yesterday? Four million. And yesterday? A billion. Babe. Yeah. We're like really rich. You got rich dudes pissing in their pants right now. They're coming after you. We need to talk about the GameStop situation. Retail traders always lose. <laughs> You've been served. Wall Street cheated. Surprise, surprise. You have to testify before Congress. The game has changed. If it's us versus them, who you think gonna win? If it's us versus... What's the point of winning the race if you let some idiot steal the prize? A lot of people feel the system is broken. The whole idea of the stock market is if you're smart and maybe with a little luck you can make your fortune. Certainly not anymore. Who you think gonna win? There's no hope for the little guy. Balls. Maybe now there is. Yeah. The case, Santos. Not on your life. Hello, girl. So we are gonna salt you up. I've had it with love. I don't believe it's relevant to the 21st century lesbian. You're not wearing that. I just came from work. I came from Toledo. I don't dress like it. I'm not here to peddle my wares. Well, I'm leaving town. I am too. That was my plan. Where are you going? Tallahassee, Florida. I've been unhappy. That's why we take this trip together, honey babe. We get our act together together. Curly's drive away, Pennsylvania's most trusted name in car delivery. Curly here. Don't call me Curly. And your name Curly? My name is Curly. We just met. It's too familiar. We're here for the car. Wait a minute. You call with a drop off in Tallahassee, and then these broads come in and say they're ready to go to Tallahassee. They drive the car instead of you. Is that bad? Bad if they find the goods. Oh. <laughs> What? You should see what's in here. I bet it's locked. I understand that you're unhappy, sir. We will find and deliver the package. We just want your friends. You cannot relate to the public, which in the service profession is a big handicap. Did the two creeps find you? They know we have their stuff. Maybe we sell it back. Shake them down. Are they like wanted or something? Oh no, they're not in trouble at all. Yeah, I'm gonna help you break a big murder case. That is about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And I'm a cop. Who are you? Democrats. Wow, you've had a full day.